Welcome to the Magnolia Minute. I'm Corey Poole and today I have with me Susie Winston, an advocate for CASA of Central Louisiana. How are you doing? I'm doing just great, thank you. So I know CASA has a training uh, session coming up soon. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, we will have a training starting May 14th at the CASA office. The classes are two times a week from 5.30 to 8.30. Uh, orientation is May 7th and it's for 32 hours. Awesome, and so, you know, this class is really to get more advocates in the system. We need more advocates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And why is it important that, that CASA have these advocates? We are the voice of the children. And with more children being um, placed into foster care, mm -hmm. we need more advocates. Yes, definitely. Because mm -hmm. I know sometimes there are cases where there's just not an advocate to work it. True. and. Um, we don't want to double up. We want to have time for each child. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, and so you're an advocate yourself, so yes. tell me kind of your experience working with the children. Well, as of tomorrow, it will be seven years since I've been an advocate. Wow. Uh, as of now, I have one adorable little girl. She was one in February and hopefully in a couple of months she will be adopted by her foster parents. Oh, wonderful. I've had three that have been adopted by foster parents and it's been great. They have been able to be placed in loving homes. I've worked with some that was able to be returned to their original home to their parents. Mm -hmm. um, in the meantime, when the children were not with the parents, the parents received training. And that's a good thing when they are able to be returned to their homes. I like that. Uh, sometimes the mother is very loving, but need extra help with parenting skills. Mm -hmm. So it's great. Yeah. And I enjoy every minute of it. I have a passion for children, so therefore this fit. Definitely. Exactly what I want. And for some people who may be worried a little bit about that commitment and whether it'll fit into their lifestyle, can you kind of speak to that? They can do it even if they're working. I know uh, we had a teacher that mm -hmm. was actually doing it because oh, wow. you can schedule your appointments with the child mm -hmm. after work. Um, you just make the arrangements with the foster parents and they'll work with you. Mm -hmm. They know the value of CASA and they are willing to work. Um, both of the parents I'm with right now have jobs, so I go after the foster mother is off of work, and that's usually like 4.30 in the afternoon, mm -hmm. and because I'm retired, if it was even later, it would be okay. Mm -hmm. um, I make my face-to-face -face visit once a month, and we can communicate, if necessary, more than that, but working, parent, working individuals could really fit in CASA. I got you. All right. So if anyone's interested in finding out some more information, who do they call? Call 238-2466 or go online at casanet.org. That's C-A-S-A-N-A-T dot org. And I can assure them they will get rewards for this. This is very rewarding, and I would suggest anyone. And I would also suggest males. We have sometimes males in mm. foster care that really need that male with them. Figure, you know? yeah. Yes, that role because they've not had that in the home and they need that role model. Great. All mm -hmm. right. Well, if you've got a passion for children and you want to help out CASA, contact them and see about becoming an advocate. And as always, thanks for watching.